right. Hello, it is Dr. Shell here with Dr. Test Prep. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your PSAT, SAT prep journey. We are covering lesson or unit two, lesson eight from Khan Academy, which is graphs of linear systems and inequalities. And we are doing the harder examples, the word problems. Now, remember, this is one case where we might not use Desmos so much for some of the questions. We might use it for others. Um, but please make sure that you watch our videos here to learn how you can use Desmos to help you be more successful in your mastering content on Khan Academy. But don't skip the practice questions on Khan. Also, please make sure that you have the calculator open. The link is in the description and make sure that when it says choose assessment, you choose the college board. All right. If you have my book, it's page 35 that we're working on. In the given system of equations below, A is a negative constant. So we know A is a negative number. All the answer choices are negative. The system has exactly one distinct real solution, which basically means it crosses. What is the value of A? Well, there's equations, so you know what we got to do. Type those babies in the graphing calculator. I like to use my keyboard, but you can definitely go on the bottom of the screen and use that calculator. If you're using the keyboard, the way that you do exponents is shift six. And that gives you the little spot to do that. And then you just use the arrow. And I can hear you say, Doc, are we supposed to type in the A? Yes. And if you remember from an earlier video, anytime we type in a letter that's not X or Y, a slider pops up and we want to have that slider. So I'm not going to have us, um, well, I can show you. Basically, we want that red line to end up touching the blue graph one time because it says one distinct real solution. So right now, this system of equations with A equaling one does not work. Okay, so watch what happens if I go and move my graph, my A value up. The blue graph is like running away from the red line. And we don't want it to run away from the red line. We want it to go down. And we also know it told us it was a negative number. But I was just showing you. If I move the slider the other way, and I know you're saying, Doc, can't you just type in the answer choices? Yes. But we don't know if this question is going to be one that you have to, is student generated, in which case they won't give you multiple choice answer question answers to check. So that's how we're doing it this way. And then I'll show you the multiple choice. Okay, keep moving down, 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 down. Nope, no solution. No, oh, 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 no solution. And then look right there. It touches, it touches in one point. It touches at the point negative two, negative nine. Now it might want to trick you. You might think negative two, negative nine is the answer, but it's not. The answer is that negative five, because that's what the A value is. A equals negative five, which in this case happens to be choice B. Now, if it, you do see it on the test and it gives you multiple choice, then of course, you can just type it in. If I type in negative eight, we can see that they has two solutions. There's two places where it crosses. If I type in negative five from the answer choices, we see we get our one solution, which is the correct answer. A is negative five. If I type in negative three, it's no solutions and negative one. It's also no solutions, but I wanted to teach you the slider trick. All right, uh, number five. A company produces two types of smartphones, A and B. The profit per unit for type A is $50. So you know I like to take notes when I read. So I know type A, is 50 bucks. Type B is $80. The company can produce a maximum of a thousand. Now remember, anytime we see numbers like that, we like to do one below the number and one above. So if it says a maximum of 1000 units, we have to ask ourselves, can it produce 999 units? Yeah, if the maximum is a thousand, it can. So we're gonna give it a smiley face. Can it produce exactly a thousand? Well, if the maximum is a thousand, yes. Can it produce a thousand and one? No. So we know that our values have to be less than or equal to a thousand. So right away, looking at the answer choices, we know that it can't be these two because those values are greater than or equal to a thousand. So now we're looking at choice A and choice B. It says um, the company wants to offer both products with at least $65,000. So we're going to do the same thing that I did before. 65,000. So we have 64,999 and 65,001. 
So if it wants to make at least 65,000, are they going to be happy if they make 64,999? Probably, but they didn't hit the target to earn the smiley face. So this is going to be a sad face. If they make exactly $65,000, are they happy? Yeah, because they want to make at least 65. They made 65. So yeah, you know, not as happy as if they made 100,000, but they're happy. They made 65,001 for sure. So we know it's going to be greater than or equal to. So which one of these has them earning greater than or equal to? Choice B. So the profit is greater than $65,000, but the amount that they make is less than $1,000. All right, a school is organizing a fundraising event. The organizers want to sell at least 100. So we know we got to do it. 99, 100, and 101. If they want to sell at least 100, is 99 okay? No. And you should be writing this down on a notebook or in my book if you bought my book. A notebook and pen and paper is fine too. I want you to get in the habit of thinking less than, greater than, and what does it mean? Especially if you scored less than 600 on the math before. All right, moving on. 100, if they want to sell at least 100 and they sell exactly 100, that's fine. 101 is good. So now we're again doing greater than and equal. All right, it says including both student and adult prices. The student ticket is five. So you know I like to write notes. This is five and the adult ticket is eight. Uh, the total revenue must be at least $600. So same thing. We have 600, 599, and 601. If they make $599, is that what they were looking for? No. So 599 is a sad face. If they made exactly $600, is that okay? Yeah, because they want to make at least that. If they make $601, is that okay? Of course. So again, this is another greater than or equal to. So looking here, this is less than. This is less than, so we know it's not A or B. We have to pick from C or D. And the one that says greater than is choice D. All right. Well, congratulations. You finished unit two with me. Make sure you've gone back to Khan Academy. Make sure that you've done the practice questions using the Desmos calculators that relate. And also, please make sure that you've done the other quizzes and tests just so that you can inform the AI that you've mastered this content. If there was anything that you still have orange, just come back and watch the videos and try again. I know you'll do great. Um, and I guess the next video, we're going to jump into unit three, which I think is on data. It is. So in our next video, we're going to be doing unit three, lesson one, ratios, rates, and proportions on page 38. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. Keep being awesome.